jobskillshare.org real world video uh, this video is remember we have a site where we basically teach IT skills and this video can be used for anyone uh, who is trying to upgrade their Windows 10 to the latest built and uh, this video can be used for for our learners also uh, so this is going to be a real world um, scenario where let's say for example you deployed uh, Windows 10 uh, and it has a little older versions uh, and now you're having issues now what type of issues are we talking about issues like this for example somebody called me that um, the Windows photo app is not working so if you go to the photo app right here this is what I'm talking about this app is not working I clicked on it and it's not working something got corrupted now I need to just kind of reset this app how do I do this now if you have if you are an older version you need to use PowerShell to do that or you need to really uh, dig deep inside and that requires a little technical skills now what do if I have an opportunity to just kind of reset this app very quickly can I do that so if you go to the settings and if you click on settings go to app features and this app will show up in here so there you go so we'll go to the photos go all the way down and this is where it is photos right here so when I click on it as you can see I don't see any other fee any anything move uninstall so if this app was to have any issue right now it's going to be a hard thing to solve things inside these default apps because you don't have any features to just reset it now the Windows the new version this is just one feature they have added advanced options in here so when you click on it all you have to do is to click on reset and bam everything is back to normal back to the factory settings and it works now uh, that is just one real world scenario that I shared with you guys why would you need to upgrade to Windows 10 new uh, built now to check your built right now all you have to do is to go to about type about in the section right here and you click on about your PC and this is where you'll see version 1511 and this is your built now if you want to see the current build all you gotta do is to go to Google type Windows 10 current build and this is the current one 1607 and this is the OS build now how do you download um, so the new ISO ISO when I talked about Windows Media Creation ISO is something that I'm going to download the whole Windows the new Windows um, on this USB this USB needs to be more than 4 GB and right now this one is 256 GB so you don't have to have 256 you can be easily uh, get get it done if you have more than 4 GB USB it cannot be uh, smaller than that so the new media creation tool have the latest uh, version in it so all you have to do is to create a new USB it's like you're creating a new installer for your Windows operating system but you're just Google what you will type is window Windows media creation tool and here you will click on it then you will click on the first option Windows 10 Microsoft you're gonna get to this page now you're not going to do update now um, because this is going to install things on this machine and then um, uh, you won't be able to use this USB then we want to make things quicker and faster uh, so that's why we need this USB so all you have to do is to click on download tool now and this is the same method if you are trying to install a full Windows 10 uh, and trying to install everything from scratch this is the same thing that I'm doing it's just uh, same process it, this upgrade it this is an updated ISO so it has a new built in there that's why it's easier to do this so all we have to do is to click on the exe file and then I'm going to run say yes now this is where things can get a little tricky you need to know your operating system and this is why it's important to know this because a lot of people do mistake they forget this part and they will start installing the wrong operating the wrong system so this is a 64-bit machine right here if you go scroll down 
it tells you right here 64 bit operating system so you need the upgrade you need the ISO the whole creation needs to be on 64 bit if you if you would see 32 bit then you need the 32 bit ISO on that USB so right now we are waiting for that media creation tool to open up and then we can start downloading there you go so it's getting a few things ready accept the license like I said, you can do two-way. Upgrade this PC, we'll start downloading the whole ISO, which is 4 GB. It's going to take time, and you cannot use that on a different machine. But what we will do is we'll create our USB. So you're going to click on Create Installation Media for another PC. But you can use it on the same PC also. It doesn't matter. So here you will, this is what I was talking about. If you uncheck this box, you can change this 32-bit. To 32 bit and then you can click next right now it's automatically picked up 64 bit which is fine and I'm going to click on next and then here this is where it says USB flash drive it needs to be at least 4 GB now at this point even before this point you need to have a USB and that USB needs to be clean nothing should be in there and once you plug it in it will you you will use this option if you have a DVD that's more than 4 GB, then you can use the ISO option. Now, how do you, basically when you plug it in, there's really nothing else. You just need to wait and this USB will be turned into like a real uh, media. So you can plug in this USB, restart this laptop from this USB and, and basically install a full new operating system. Or you can plug it in and double click on the, the exe file and then it will run the whole upgrade from this USB. That takes very less amount of time and it's kind of solid because it's it, you will know it's not corrupted and everything is done. So it's not from internet so the internet you have to wait download the whole media then it will do the whole process. So at this point um, I have already done this because this also takes a little time for you to create a USB. I'm just going to plug this USB in just to show you guys what you will see on your USB if you're using the same method. Once I plug this USB in, this there you go, this is automatically created and that's the same thing that you will see also on your USB. That's after creating this whole media. Now my recommendation is this, when you create a USB make sure once it's completed then restart your machine plug in your USB and then come to this setup right here double click on it and then click yes right now what will happen is that okay so th this is just normal but this is another thing but it says preparing on the in the back right there and now it's going to start the upgrade process now few technical things for my learners to know not every laptop I mean I'm just using a Dell laptop right here and it, it will work because I have done it on so many laptops you might be using a totally different machine I would recommend you to go to Google before you try to do upgrades try to see if there's any issues specifically with your machine because I don't know exactly what you're using because a lot of people a lot of members start commenting it didn't work for me you messed up my computer all that kind of stuff it's because maybe whatever you're using I never touched it so how would I know but the process is kind of similar you know this is nothing different it's Microsoft is suggesting to do this if you want to create a media and that's what I'm doing right now as you can see I can click on download and install updates but it will be more time consuming so I'm just gonna click say no not right now and I'm going to click next so it will check your PC so make sure another thing that your PC should have enough space so if you get any error at this point, you might get some errors because you might have a very few amount of space like, you know, maybe 500 MB, 1 GB space in your C drive and that will fail. So that's one thing to know that you should have a lot of space in your G drive, uh, C drive, sorry, at least more than 20 gigs. Other things to know is um, probably less than that, but 20 is just I'm being very safe. And other things that can cause issues right here, if you, in this Windows you have some kind of app that is actually not compatible with, with Windows 10. So it will tell you that this app is not compatible with Windows 10 and that could, could, could cause issues in, during installation. Usually antiviruses that are not compatible with Windows, new Windows of versions and you, you will get this 
spinning for a lot a lot of time and then it will give you error then you need to uninstall that app and then try this again and that usually fix that type of issues all right so you'll get to this point and then you will click on install and at this point you will just wait for this to finish up you don't touch anything it will do everything for you and then you will see everything the same way nothing changed now again let me remind you again please make a full backup before you do all this process now another thing that i noticed if you have some special software meaning for recovery built in this like rollbacks recovery or something like that and it it basically is uh, controlling your boot systems like boot files this might fail so make sure you uninstall it or do a research before you try to do this process because it will fail and most likely it will tell you that we did not uh, do the upgrade everything is back to it we could, we didn't do anything else now this is a different machine but at the end when that process is over it's gonna take time it's probably gonna take 20 to 30 minutes or maybe less than that depending on how fast the computer is you will see 1607 the same way you'll go to type about and then you will see this built but let me show you the advantage of this is that what I was talking about the real world scenario that I got a call and this user couldn't get to the photos and then I was like oh, okay how do I reset this whole app then if I go to settings now in this machine and if I had the same issue about photo built-in app all I have to do is to go to the features again go down to that app which is photos right here and as you can see advanced option is available when I click on it all I have to do is to click on reset and you can see right here permanent delete app data blah 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 oh that's fine that's like phones you know so now everything is reset if I go to back to the app I open it I had no issues and that's how I resolve that real world scenario but as you can see real world scenarios are not that small behind it there was a full process and this requires not only just me walking up there and I started doing upgrades of course you have to talk to your techs you have to talk to your other IT guys that you know is this a real um, yes, this is a good way to move forward with this because since Microsoft is going to be pushing all these upgrades then why not let's sit together and plan something out so that was kind of the real world scenario but at the same time this video helped people who want to learn and who are people who are in this technology support section it is also a great video for them so thank you make sure you got comment and if you have any issues uh, comment in the below section and we'll try to help you out